Hi, I want to chat briefly about some tips for designing a winning virtual poster to demonstrate your research. A great place to start designing your poster is to look at examples of other posters for inspiration. You're also welcome to use or be inspired by one of the many templates we have available through the Gumberg Library website. Click Research from the box on the lower left and Research Guides on the upper right. You can search for poster templates to find links to PowerPoint-based templates. When designing your poster, remember that your goal is to communicate your research clearly, concisely, and effectively. To do this, I recommend keeping four main elements of design in mind, based on what Robin Williams outlines in their book, The Non-Designer's Design Book. These elements are contrast, proximity, alignment, and repetition. The first element is contrast. You can add visual interest and indicate priorities of information on your poster by making things that are not the same very different. For example, I can tell you that having a stark contrast between words and their background, such as white text on a black background, is a good idea, but I might demonstrate this by showing an extreme contrast to this idea, in which the colors are ridiculously the same. So I'm contrasting with my example of contrast by showing extreme differences. Contrast in colors helps everyone read more clearly, but it is especially helpful for folks who may have vision impairments or color blindness. You can also contrast images, line thickness, serif or sans serif fonts. Just keep in mind that boldly affirming visual differences is part of communication. When you're organizing information on a poster, be sure to put related concepts in close proximity with each other. When you group similar things together, they become one visual unit. This helps produce a cleaner, more organized, and less cluttered poster. Next, be thoughtful about how you align the elements on your poster. As Robin Williams states, nothing should be placed on the page arbitrarily and everything should have a visual connection to something else on the page. Don't sneak any random images or disconnected text into your poster. When you align your text, make sure you also place it in logical order so the content will make sense, including to those who may need a screen reader to view it. Finally, you want your poster to be readable and have a cohesive appearance. Repeating aspects of the design throughout the poster, such as a bold font, a particular bullet point, color, or format will help you achieve this. By considering contrast, proximity, alignment, and repetition, you will be on your way to an effective poster design. So far, I've included some tips for making your poster more universally accessible to people with various needs, such as using high contrast colors and placing information in a logical order. I have a couple additional tips related to accessibility. One is to write alternative or alt text for all your images and charts. Alt text should be a concise description of what an image conveys for those who are unable to see the image. In PowerPoint, you can simply right click an image, select format picture, and you should find an alt text option to write this description. While you can use color to convey particular messages, make sure that color is not the only method through which you convey information as some people won't be able to see or distinguish colors. Finally, PowerPoint is equipped with an accessibility checker that you can find quickly by searching accessibility checker at the top of a slide. It will show you any areas that the software detects could present accessibility issues. There's a lot of room for creativity within the core guidelines for effective design, so we look forward to seeing how you creatively describe your research.